Hi, everybody. I'm Bruce Rader, along with former NFL running back DJ Dozier as we get set to preview Sunday's game between the Washington Redskins and the undefeated San Francisco 49ers. Hey, we thought the Redskins might have a big win over the Miami Dolphins. They won, but it wasn't a big win. They're going to have a lot more trouble against the best defense in the NFL. Absolutely, and, and I think motivation always makes a difference. So to go against an Ofer team, although they were Ofer as well, uh, is not as exciting as going against a team that's, that's undefeated. And so you never know what will happen with the Redskins and, and their, uh, their, their psychological uh, uh, view of, of this game and how they perform on the field. Well, last week, Coach Bill Callahan promised that the Redskins were going to become a run first, past second offense, and he was true to his promise. Adrian Peterson had another big game. This week, the Redskins have even added a fullback to their offense. So it looks like that running is the way to go with Callahan as coach. Well, no, no doubt about it. He's serious. So you bring in a fullback in today's uh, world in, in terms of the NFL, that's a big statement. So he's saying, hey, we're going to change the way we approach offense. Uh, you saw it last week with the, with the game against Miami. You're going to see it further. I think there's going to be more dynamics, more changes to come. Obviously, with the fullback, there are, there's going to be changes. But the, the point is their approach and their strategy is going to change. You will see what happens with the outcome. Well, Bill Callahan was an offensive line coach. Offensive line coaches always want to run the ball, don't they, DJ? Absolutely. They love the run. <laughs> when I played for the Vikings, I mean, the Vikings run, uh, offensive line begged the uh, offensive coordinator to, to run more. And so, yeah, no doubt about it. Offensive line love the run. They love to, that run block. They love hitting those linebackers and pulling and, and, and getting out in the open somewhere. Do you think maybe also it's the fact that Callahan really doesn't have a whole lot of confidence in quarterback Case Keenum and the receivers that Keenum has to throw to with the exception of the rookie Terry McLaurin? Yeah, that, that could be the case. He could have a little lack of confidence in the quarterbacks uh, or the quarterback and then the, the rookie that they have. But he knows also that the run game, if they can control the ball and they can create a, run, uh, a running offense, it helps the quarterback. So you're actually taking pressure from off the quarterback and quarterback position. Now, your NFL career was mostly in the Midwest, but I've always wanted to ask a player this. Does it make a lot of difference when you have to travel, and especially the fact that the 49ers have to go from San Francisco on the West Coast to the East Coast? They're playing a 1 o'clock game because nobody wants to see this game in prime time right. if the Redskins are playing and it's going to be 9 o'clock in the morning as far as the 49ers are, going to, are concerned. Do you think that that can make a difference? It can always make a difference, but what the team has to do is be strategic. They have to figure out, okay, listen, there's a three-hour change. We've got to get there a little early uh, so that our guys can at least get accustomed to that time zone. Otherwise, you could have some things that are off. I mean, I remember when we traveled from Minnesota to, to Tampa, it was a tough trip, but it was also the weather. You know, you go from being indoors to being outside, there was always a change. So with change always comes some, you know, different dynamics. You've got to prepare for it. I think, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure the, the, the 49ers are, are ready and prepared to, to travel whenever they need to, to be ready for the game. And finally, we hear it's going to be raining on Sunday. Does rain, sloppy field, help the Redskins, who are going to be running the ball, or help the 49ers, who have one of the best defenses in the National Football League this year? Adverse conditions, especially if it changes the dynamic of the field, is always an advantage for the offense because offensive players know exactly where they need to be, where they're going. Defense doesn't. They have to be a little more tentative in their reactions, and so their reactions are often delayed. So that gives the, the advantage to the offense. DJ Dozier, hey, next Thursday, the Redskins are playing the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, that'd be a good game. That's well, right. We'll see what happens on that one. We will. <laughs> be Let's fun see to watch. what happens on Sunday, though, first against the 49ers. And we'll have more this week on the Washington Huddle.